Hey guys, welcome to the final video of this year and in this video I'm going to be talking about the top 10 hard rock and metal albums of 2023. So without further ado, at number 10 it's Foo Fighters brand new album, but here we are. Now this is the first album they've made without Taylor Hawkins and um, you know Taylor Hawkins was an amazing dude and an amazing drummer and it was really sad that he passed away. But it's good for Foo Fighters to carry on with their music and it's great for the Foo Fighters fans as well. I highly recommend this at number 10, Foo Fighters. At number 9, I'm giving it to the Canadian death metal band Cataclysm. Their album Goliath is just phenomenal. The riffs, the double kick drumming, uh, the melodies, fantastic. Um, my favorite track on this album is Goliath. Um, absolutely love this album. I've been listening to it pretty much since its release date. Highly recommend it. Check them out. Number eight, I'm giving it to Burning Witches, their new album, The Dark Tower. Uh, I've been a fan of Burning Witches for the last couple of years and they did a phenomenal job on this new album. Not only the songs are great, but look at this album artwork. Absolutely love it. Represents what a metal band and a thrash metal band slash death metal band should be like. Putting on great album plus great album artwork. Absolutely love it. So if you haven't listened to um, Burning Witches, Highly recommend it. At number seven, it's KK Priest brand new album, Sinner Rides Again. Um, I absolutely love their debut album, and KK Priest have done an amazing job on their second album. Look at the album artwork, so, so cool. Um, if you're a fan of Judas Priest, you're gonna, especially old school Judas Priest, you're gonna love this album. And Tim Ripper uh, Owens vocals, are just phenomenal on this album. Uh, my favorite track on this album, I pretty much love, love all the tracks, but if I gotta pick one, I gotta say uh, The Sinner Rides Again. I just cannot pick one favorite track on this album. They're all very, very cool, and this is just a fun metal album. At number six, uh, it's going to be Lodi, uh, their brand new album, Scream Riders Guild, which came out at the beginning of the year. Um, I haven't listened to Lodi since their Rock Apocalypse album um, and this album is just a great fun hard rock album. Uh, the theme as you can imagine is horror movies and absolutely love what they've done on it. There's not a single track on this album that I don't like. I love every single track on this album. Highly recommend it. At number five it's gonna be uh, this album. Uh, Make Them Beg For Death by Dying Fetus. Uh, I've known about these guys, but I've never listened to any of their albums. And this year when they released this album, I decided to check it out on Apple Music and absolutely loved it. I'm still trying to figure out where to buy my copy from. It's, uh, it's a bit dear, so I'm trying to look for that special deal. And I'm gonna get it on vinyl record because this album is absolutely fantastic. So I highly recommend it. At number four, it's gonna be Overkill's brand new album, Scorched. Uh, I've always enjoyed Overkill. This album is thrashy, the riffs are great, the drumming is awesome, the vocals are great, the melodies are great, you just name it. And the album cover on its own. Wow, what an amazing album cover. Love the color, artwork, and if you're into thrash metal, you're gonna absolutely dig this album. At number three, it's gonna be Cannibal Corpse's brand new album, Chaos Horrific. Um, Eric Rutan uh, plays on this album again. This is the second album he's playing on and his guitar playing is just phenomenal. I think he's brought in so much energy into Cannibal Corpse and that's just so refreshing. The album artwork, once again, amazing. They just never go wrong with the album artwork. And the songs on this album are just mind blowing it's uh every single track on this album is just so rich so powerful and just so interesting absolutely love the lyrical theme on this album and the musical direction they have continued to stick with it's just great 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 
At number three, Cannibal Corpse, Kyocerific. At number two, I'm giving it to Metallica's brand new album, 72 Seasons. I'm not a huge Metallica fan at all. I mean, I love their stuff from the 80s, and that's my favorite Metallica. But everything after the Black Album, I've not been a huge fan. No offense to anyone. But this album is just an amazing album. If you like old school Metallica, you like new school Metallica, this album has it all. Uh, you're going to absolutely love it. Every single track on this album is just so much fun to listen to. Kirk Hammett's guitar playing is great. Uh, James has done an amazing job. Uh, everybody on this album is just so good. Um, my favorite track on this album is Room of Mirrors. Absolutely love this track. Um, there's elements of thrash on it, hard rock, and just whatever Metallica is good at doing. And the good part is the sound production, the sound quality is really good. Um, so I highly recommend it. Metallica 72 seasons. At number one, I'm giving it to this band In Flames and the brand new album is called Forgone. Um, I've known about this, these guys but uh, I only decided to check them out at the beginning of this year. And boy, oh boy, I'm glad I did because this album has been on my playlist constantly. I've been listening to this album throughout this year. Absolutely love it. Um, the vocals and the melodies and the riffs and the guitar playing and the drumming, the double kick drumming, phenomenal. Absolutely love it. Uh, my favorite track on this album is in the transmission which is the last track on this album absolutely love it so in the artwork how cool is this artwork as well both outside and inside so thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for your support throughout this year i also like to say a huge thank you to my uh, old subscribers and to the new subscribers and thank you so much for your support it really means a lot uh, I wish you guys a great holiday period and I'll see you guys in 2024. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.